And now, please take a look at this. Because I think I can glean more information about this. Right. Because this hooded blue hood cloak thing is very Breath of the Wildy. But that is very Ganon y. I mean, obviously, like Link to the Past Ganon, I mean. And, um, if this is like the first part of the game, I'm assuming this is like the opening of the game, which is kind of interesting because he has uh, a jumping ability like Rock's Feather. See, that's interesting that his, um, uh, Ganon's staff kind of did this. Maybe it was like a failsafe or something. Like, I'm really excited for this. Oh, and it stopped. Ooh, and you can see... I don't know, maybe I'll put this up on YouTube as like a preliminary, like, kind of exploration of what might be going on here. You can see, like, floating islands in this void. It might be, well... So it'd be interesting if, like, this was throughout all timelines, because, you know, Zelda deals with a bunch of timelines and shit. But just these islands are interesting. This makes me want to go back and play um, Link's Awakening. And this right here, like, this looks exactly pretty much like... Um, a Link Between Worlds and A Link to the Past, because this is like Lake Hylia. It even has that kind of interesting boomerang-esque shape here. And then we have uh, these boulders, which are directly from A Link to the Past. So this is definitely probably a, a sequel to A Link Between Worlds. This is like going to be topping off the trilogy. This looks fucking amazing, by the way. Can I just say that? But this is one million percent. Uh, Link to the Past World. Or Era. Because you even have the pathways here on the, what are they called, the Palisades or whatever. Um, the castle looks good too. I don't, you know, we haven't seen anything from this vantage point. This looks fucking amazing. And over here, uh, this is the first dungeon it looks like, right? The, um, the, the, what do they call it? The Eastern Temple? Okay. Or, you know, in a link, uh, in a link between worlds, there was like a windmill right here. So that windmill isn't here. This could be in between. A Link to the Past and A Link Between Worlds? It's interesting. I don't... I don't really know what to make of this. Or maybe it's like way further in the future or something. It's kind of hard to put a... put a time on this when this takes place. Because like Link's house would be over here. Do we... And there's a bombable wall. Yeah, Link's house should be right here, and it is not there. Or Link's uncle's house, whatever. Because down here, you go, there's a bombable wall over here. This is so fucking interesting. Wait, what the fuck? Hold on. What the f Hold on. Hold the phone. This is Death Mountain. 
This is the... What the fuck is all this? What is this? This isn't Death Mountain. This is Death Mountain. Ooh, that's interesting. Or maybe this is before. It could be before Link to the Past. Because I know Four Swords Adventure is supposed to be like way earlier in the timeline of that fallen hero, I'm pretty sure. Or at least it's before Link to the Past. I could be wrong on that. But anyway. Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, Let's producer see. of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest uh -huh. installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Uh -huh. This time around, Link has vanished. Now it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? I like a shirt. Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Okay, let's see what else we can learn. Stolen away. Across the... Okay, so we definitely have like a castle town here too, which we haven't had before. And like the Highland Crest and everything. The vast lands of Hyrule. Strange rifts have appeared. And like... This over here, I'm not quite sure what that would be. Those huts in the water, that's pretty interesting. And have taken many people, it's including bad. Link. It's very bad. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Try. Okay. And obviously, like every kind of Zelda sub Zelda series has its own way of showing fairies and stuff. It's fine receives a mysterious staff obviously try the triforce it has three golden um triangles behind the it try rod and set and this kind of resembles um whenever you rescue zelda in a link to the past in this dungeon down there that's interesting it's off on a journey across hyrule and she has the hood now, which is cool. And I'm wondering, like, surely maybe this is in the past. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it, right? And then they won't do this, but I really wish they would. Uh, because this immediately reminded me of, like, the Cane of Samaria, where you can make those red blocks and push them and stuff in A Link to the Past. Um... Like, if they went into, maybe there's some kind of, like, well-known magical staff creator, or, well, she gets the staff from the fairy. So, maybe it's Samaria is, like, some kind of crazy fairy or something, you know? It, it just is weird that we have, or, we have these canes and staves and stuff uh, that do kind of similar things. To save so. her kingdom. Yeah. By waving the tri rod at a table she found, sure. Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Once yeah. you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it when. And I think I pointed this out. What's the limit on this? So we have the rod here. Clearly, we can get a bunch of other shit too. And. Maybe there's like a limit of five or Whenever something. Whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you sure. can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. And can you like jump just normally? Clearly this doesn't have the UI just on it. Just like that. So. Or, well, no, it does. Okay. You can create wooden boxes, sure. old beds, and a Come on, let's go back here. You can create. Not gonna do like a game explain level of 
like detailing, but I'm you know, having grown up with Zelda for the past 36 years. I think I'm kind of qualified to talk about this a little bit. Just like that. So that's some interesting looking rocks over there. You can create wooden boxes. Okay, so it seems to be flash. Oh, there's a little kitty over there. It seems to be flashing like with the stuff that you can create. I'm actually kind of curious. It it seems that you can only create stuff that is stored in the rod. Maybe you like eventually get more like slots, quote unquote, in the rod and you can make different things like you can hold them because if you can only have one at a time that that's going to be interesting old beds and unusual so we also had a um or she <laughs> it's so cool being zelda uh a pot up here right you can do beds probably you can jump on the bed cool maybe it jumps you like higher. water blocks sure. how you use them separately and clearly and unusual things like like she's in this realm, right? Maybe this is like the realm of chaos that like the dark world, or maybe this is tying into Hilda's realm. I don't know. It's actually really interesting because you just have a bunch of like flying floating pieces in this void. It really evokes something like, like the, uh, what do they call like the interlopers or whatever in Twilight Princess, like where Majora's mask seem to be maybe theoretically made water blocks and yeah, we've had majora's mask separately or together is entirely up to in you this learn and create the past, echoes of things you uh, find while exploring between world games okay you might be so here create echoes of things you find while exploring hyrule okay so we have a um Back. We have a list, which is interesting. Okay, so we have some kind of rock, we have a signpost, different furniture, or something like that. Um, very, very reminiscent of Tears of the Kingdom, you know, with the building. Like, they're like, oh, you built this last, and it clearly has more than one page. So that's that's interesting that this is like almost directly coming from that you can see them iterating on the design for how it works in two dimensions you might be surprised at what you discover so there's probably like not a limit like i was saying before i had misspoke on that and what is this oh we're in a fucking gerudo we have Gerudos here. So this is actually really, really interesting as well. Because we have Gerudos and we saw uh, uh, like a conventional looking Zora. And this looks like the Gerudo towns from like Breath of the Wild in Tears of the Kingdom. Like they're kind of, you know, in industrious isn't the word, but they kind of got their shit together and aren't living in caves. <laughs> Even battles will look different. Okay. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. Sure. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight That's by really your side. Cool. I wonder if you can do it for any monster or even like a boss. That would be wild. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create oh, that's cool. based on the situation. And we have, um, we have like the side scrolling areas like we did in A Link to the Past and, um, Oracle of Ages and Seasons. By the way, like, I would have bet money that we would get, um, those games remade before we got anything like this. This is actually a really welcome surprise. I'm really excited about it and i hope we do get oracle of seasons and ages because not enough people have played those games and they're fucking brilliant wisdom is key after all okay oh we have the uh, meat remember the meat from uh zelda one also from 
I think it appears in a few more games. Oh, we got a Deku Baba or something similar. The rain, I like the rain. The rain is really freaking dope. Um, I, I'm really excited for this. Okay. This looks like that. <laughs> what is it in? It's. Oh, fuck. It may be Super Mario 3D World. Maybe Land as well. Where Mario gets that cannon. And you can, like, it just keeps firing. And it actually. Like, there's a bunch of shit to go through here. This is actually kind of interesting too because we have all these monsters and then I assume once you kill them all this will unlock, kind of like Breath of the Wild. We can fly with a bird, cool bird. Ooh, there, <laughs> there's a lot of shit to look at in here. Um, clearly they're probably gonna function something like, uh, oh shit, what's her name? in tears everyone drew porn of her like the minute they saw her pura right <clears throat> i don't know why that comes to my mind anyway yeah what do we got like some kind of machine over here maybe it's like a duplicating machine i don't know some fish and food and... okay we got kind of interesting little like japanese style living over here it seems. Maybe he's like a smith, right? Because you had those dwarves that were like smiths that tempered your sword. In a high Oh shit. Is this Impa? Or maybe one of the stages? It looks like In a high rule without link. Oh my god. I didn't even catch this. Oh shit. Hold on, this has gotta be Link. This is wild. This shit right here is wild. I I don't think we've ever had a Zora like intermingling like this. Because then I'll link to the past. Here, let me put on some background music. In a link to the past, these were the Zoras, right? And they were mean. They were evil. But then Ocarina of Time and like redid Zoras to make them look more like these fish people. But then, like, I think the explained idea was that. The fish people, like these, the Ocarina of Time Zoras, kind of evolved into these more malevolent ones as time went on in the, like, downfall hero timeline, if you want to get into that. But now we have them meeting. This is actually really cool. My favorite race is Zora in Zelda. Um, these Zoras. <laughs> Maybe not so much these. But we also know that there are other domains in Zelda because we got that in um, Tears of the Kingdom, right? Because that princess that married um, uh, the Zora Prince uh, Sidon, they were like, oh, you know, she came from another Zora's domain. So there's like clearly other like domains out there in the world. And maybe like this is just I mean, obviously, it's like another Zora's. Maybe they, their domain got fucked up. Or maybe they're part of, uh, like, they stayed in Hyrule while other Zora's left Hyrule and kind of didn't turn into whatever the fuck those are. Those types of Zora's. Zora's. This is really interesting. Sorry, this is like, I really, really like timeline lore shit in Zelda. I know it's all pieced together and most of it's just bullshit. But, you know, I'm a lore junkie. Oh, this looks like Prince Rallis right here from from uh, uh, Twilight Princess. 
This is really cool. Like, this particular scene is so fucking cool to me. Alright. And I don't think we've seen this before either. Like, we got Deku. Deku, uh... Scrub Salesman? Or the Deku Salesman, right? No, wait, this guy... This is the motherfuckers that, like, always inhabited... Like, he and his type of Deku inhabited that flower in Majora's Mask. Where you're like, get the fuck out of here, I need to use it. And he's like, oh, whatever, and you gotta give him something. And then he takes his bags and flies off so you can get up to the clock tower. This is that kind of Deku scrub, I guess. That's really, really, really cool. And over here, it looks like we have a windmill. See, I'm really interested in the mountain. Because that could have been like Elden Mountain. I Because we have Death Mountain, right? Like we have that. That is already named in A Link to the Past. But then we had another volcano, right? And Death Mountain's usually the volcano. Because in Skyward Sword, it was called like Elden Volcano. And I think they eventually renamed that to Death Mountain, I think. I could be wrong. I haven't brushed up on my lore in a in a little while, but the fate of this the is kingdom. interesting, and we have <coughs> this right here is super, super fucking interesting too. Because we have the pedestal, where normally like the Master Sword would be, and we have that pedestal in Breath of the Wild and in Tears of the Kingdom, obviously. But we've never had a Deku tree in 2D, aside from, like, Oracle of Seasons and Ages. Um, but those were, like, the Maku tree, right? Those were different entities. So this is interesting. I really enjoy the fact that, like, one of the really cool reasons I love Twilight Princess is that it whenever you go to the sacred grove it's almost like an in-between of the temple of time right because that's where that was and that's like the old school temple of time but it's all decrepit and shit and turning into a forest and that it's like a, a missing link no pun intended for temple of time and then later on in A Link to the Past, and I know they're in different timelines, blah, 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 just hear me out. In A Link to the Past, it's in the forest in this sacred grove, right? So it's it kind of like connects them. It seems like this is also doing something similar. This really feels like Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom type of thing too, because we have this like pedestal right here and the Deku trees guarding over it. It's really cool. I know the timeline is like super fucked, but... I love seeing, like, transitionary things. Is now in Zelda's hands. Okay. The fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda. We got Jelly, f okay, little Mario His action hands. here. I'm trying to look for, like, any... This could be, like, a Sheikah eye, right? Maybe. We can't really see. Okay, we got a rock monster. Uh, maybe that's just symbolism, because the eyes are here as well. A little dot dot dash there. How was that? It's a lot to break down. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. Like it more than that. Of echoes in this. Game. Okay. All right. Got a cannon there. It's gonna be some really cool puzzles to solve. To be it's urchins from Link to the Past. I mean, Link's Awakening. Honest, I haven't counted them all. So we can have a Lizafol stare. Yet. That's interesting. It looks like they're gonna be heavily reliant on some of these. I mean, not heavily, but fairly reliant on some of these 2D kind of underground maps. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. Little P hat there for the glider. 
yeah they're de like it's so funny to see the evolution of their ideas and how they implement it into different games because it's so much like breath of the wild like that's a whole thing right here's the kingdom breath of the wild you can attack whatever situation however you want in short we've created a game where each player is a okay so it looks like they've cloned the cyclops i forgot what their name is and, and she's like just throwing it in there like go go experience will be different no oh, that's a that's a redead never mind it's not one of those cyclops what are those cyclops things called oh hinox right, 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 right the legend of zelda see look at this uh there's so much to take in love the purple there's an octo rock there's you know i initially would say that these would be called like spectacle rock but spectacle rock is right here uh, assuming again this is the link to the past world which it seems to be um it's maybe like an amalgamation of a bunch of different places anyway the point is this is fucking amazing and i want it right now Echoes of wisdom pretty soon. In September. And my headphones started great. But anyway. Hell yeah. Holy shit. I'm like super excited about that. Um 26. Mm -hmm. A Nintendo oh. Oh, and I gotta get oh, fuck. I have every Zelda special edition 3DS. There's like five of them. And now I want this. <laughs> God damn it. Switch light. And we know the new switch is gonna come around the corner. But this looks so good. Switch light system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available it. at launch. We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this. I very, very, very much am. Very much am. <laughs> anyway, all right. I should probably cut this up and throw it up on YouTube to like ride the wave as it were. So I'm going to do that. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll be on later for I don't know what the hell I'm going to play. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe to YouTube and everything like that. And I will be back in a few hours. Take it easy.